Hey Steve with Carpet Crap and we are going to talk about MetaZoo Nightfall and what kind of my strategy and my thought process is, is going into trying to get product and <laughs> from what it looks like I don't know if I'm going to going to get product at MSRP because remember um, Metazoo raised prices for this release. I doubt they're going to go back to the old prices. But I really don't see myself, unless I get it off the marketplace drop on the Metazoo official website, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get <laughs> at MSRP. I don't think I am because Channel Fireball, they released a, a small wave or a wave of it. I don't know what really happened. I only got the um, a couple of these event decks, and that was about it. Because MetaZoo on the Discord, if you're at, if you're not on the Discord, I would suggest you join. They posted this on the ninth, because I remember it was uh, Thursday. It was like the afternoon, like three or four o'clock maybe. And I was there. I got the notification. And I was probably like five minutes late or seven minutes and all this stuff was already pretty much gone I couldn't I couldn't I had the cart when I go to check out and be sold out and I really couldn't get anything and over the next like 20 minutes or so it was flickering in and out but the uh, checking over the next few hours that it never happened it never came in stock that's I, I refer I was refreshing it. I had my computer, second monitor, refreshing it. It never came in stock. Um, that's just what happened. I'm not gonna get mad about it. With this MetaZoo product, the cat is our is out of the bag. When when the first edition Crypto Nation released, no one really knew what was gonna happen to the secondary market. So prices kind of said at a medium pre-order like 150 to 199 that we knew there was buzz and interest but no one really knew that first edition crypto nation would jump to four to five hundred after supply ran out but retailers now I mean they know that the cat's out of the bag so I predict uh, these stores they're gonna hold boxes <laughs> Mike can say what he wants about MSRP but I think people they're gonna stores and channel fireball they're gonna hold boxes and on release date on the 20th I mean I expect $300 boxes that that's just what it is people like the product people know what it's worth and they're gonna price accordingly these places are business they want to make as much money as possible and if that's the case with nightfall I'm just gonna just wait it out that's gonna be my strategy going into this also to note some cook groups are aware of MetaZoo right now so just looking on Twitter just trying to see what's going on so for those of you who don't know, cook groups, they it's a Discord where members collaborate on products they can flip quickly or within a certain time frame. It's not long term holding, it's just quick flips. So that they'll get notifications instantly on certain products that are in stock. So there there is some cook groups on notice for MetaZoo. Because when you take a product that was released at a hundred dollars and then it jumps to four to five hundred people take notice of that and people are noticing MetaZoo's just turbulence and they are gonna try to make money off of it but with this it's this is gonna be the same print run as the first edition so maybe we have a situation with flesh and blood monarch for those you don't know Flesh and Blood went through this crazy surge in 
before Monarch released in May. So Monarch's MSRP first edition was like 100 bucks, and people got their orders in, and then the price jumped to like pre-release six hundred dollars. And back in May of 2021, and I, you can say people misjudged the supply. Some stores probably held boxes, but the price dropped all the way to what it is now, like 250. So with what we're looking at here is the MetaZoo booster box. Our store is going to hold boxes and then push it to market on release. And then, oh, $300 a box. Are they going to do that? It's the same print run. That's, <laughs> I feel like Channel Fireball is going to do that. Because what they released, okay, they sold out. But I, I just... I don't know there's just not a lot I feel like a lot of stores are gonna hold boxes or they're just gonna sell pre-orders now maybe they think it'll go out more but I would try to join the discord and just try to get some at the MetaZoo marketplace hopefully they give out a notification and I'll try to buy some there because it, it, the cats out of the bag people like this stuff and people will price it accordingly if that makes sense stores will, will try to do that and if these boxes stay at like 300 at release I don't know if they will I would don't don't try to FOMO because there will be a second edition of Nightfall there will be just don't try to FOMO and just pay 300 350 because you're afraid of not getting one if anything, just wait for the single. Buy the singles. Because people are... They're, they're trying to make money off this. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to get mad about it. I mean, people like the game. And people like the stuff. Just try to wait it out. Because we may see, like, a dip. Similar to Monarch release. Since there is going to be... A good chunk of product. And a lot of, maybe, resellers... Or stores are going to be holding some. My strategy, maybe I'll just stick to buying Kickstarter, Kickstarter MetaZoo cards. Maybe I'll stick to that because uh, I would rather for four hundred dollars right now. I'd rather buy Cryptid Nation booster boxes instead of Nightfall. The first set. That's what I would do if I was paying those prices. Shipping highest. <laughs> That's what I would kind of do because they're kind of sitting like not at 450 but like 400. But people are buying it. We'll see what happens. All right, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Yeah, uh, I don't want to watch this. <laughs>